Here's another cunning trick you can do with a for loop, and this is to get the user to control how many times it actually loops. So, what I've done here is I've got my counting up algorithm here, it counts from 1 to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, by printing out the counter variable every time. But what I'm going to do here is I've created a variable, declared a variable called repeats, and I'm going to use the usual input output. What number do you want to count up to? Like that. And then I'm going to give the variable repeats the value of whatever the user inputs. So console.readline. Like that. And now I have my maximum number of loops that I want stored in this repeats variable. So what I can do, instead of having a fixed number here for counter equal 1 to 10, is I'll for counter equal 1 to repeats. So whatever number has been typed in and saved in the repeats variable gets set as the upper limit for my loop. So let's say I want to count up to 25. What number do I want to count up to? 25, press enter and it counts up to 25. There you go, I can scroll up. There we are. This is outputting. Um, let's try again. Let's make the computer do a big number. 1,764. You can actually see it doing the printing if you have it long enough that it counted all of those up for me. And so on and so on and so on. The console can display so many lines. Um, so using a variable to set the end of your loop is quite a neat little trick that you can use to just get the user to control how many repeats you've got.